So I will be upcycling this or refashioning, it's a term I prefer to use, um, is this long top. I made this ages ago and it just needs revamping. I'm going to be doing sort of like a colour block. So I'm going to add the top part of this t-shirt just the top part of it and as usual I try to make sure that I use everything possible but also I'm only going to be using half of the top the top part and I've just come up with an idea I probably will be able to actually um, I'll just add the part that I cut off from here, and no, I won't actually. Yeah, I could do, but it'll just be sleeveless, and I prefer sleeves. I'll probably be adding the top part of this onto the bottom part of that. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Anyway, the first thing I need to do is to cut off the top part of here, and then cut this, and that'll be the starting point for this project. Let's get started. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Okay, I need to cut the top part of this off. I need to be nice and straight. Okay, that's my cut. Right, so there's nothing to be done to the bottom section just yet, so I'm going to put that to the side and then bring in my t shirt. Okay. Because they're both different shapes. Um, So I need to cut the sleeves off. I've got to make sure because I'm adding something like this. I'll be adding this part of the sleeve onto this. So it means I'll be keeping some of the top section of the sleeve on this. Right. Copy the same on this one. Okay. All right, it's done. That's all that's left of the top part. Okay. I put that to one side for a moment. Bring your t-shirt in. This leads to one side. So 
and now all I need to do is cut straight across here. good let's just see now that could be a possible project okay let's focus on the project in hand which is this one Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. It'll be easier to put the sleeves in first and then attach this to the main body of the top. Yeah, I'll do that first. Let's bring in the top section. With the top and the sleeves. Okay, let's work on the wrong side. And turn the sleeve to the wrong side also. Look some more at the moment. Okay, so we're matching up the seams. going to come like so. Okay. I'll pin that in place actually. make sure that I'm covering the hem of the t-shirt quickly going to base that into position making sure that I cover the hem because that will enable me to have a nice neat line to the right side I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. Not only that, on my channel I have lots and lots of sewing techniques that will help you in your project. Let's get back to the video. So I've pinned and based the sleeves into position. So I just need to go to the sewing machine and sew that. But while I'm there, I may as well sew the bottom section as well. So I've got the bottom section on the wrong side, put it through like so, and then match up the side seams. And match the other side seam. So 
So I've pinned all the way around the main body. Um, I'm not going to baste that, um, that should be okay for me to sew without any issues of it, of movement, that should be quite easy to do. I just wanted to make sure that I baste the sleeves because that's going to be a little bit more trickier. So now I'm ready to take it to the sewing machine. So I'm now ready to sew the sleeve. So I've put the sleeve top part onto the arm of the sewing machine, like so, which makes it a lot easier to actually sew into place. Let's just start off slow. And it's a case of stopping and starting because of all the amounts of I finished all my sewing, nice straight, that's the front, just have to pull out the basting stitch, sleeves are now attached, to show you the back, I'll give you a quick look at the inside of the sleeve, got a wide, but need that, that's fine, brilliant. Now all I need to do is try it on. That's good. I like that. Yeah, it's nice. Quick and simple, but perhaps not so quick. Simple. Mm. <laughs> um, but no, I'm happy with the result. It's I know I'll wear it, it's got new life. So yeah, happy with how it's turned out. Here's what their sleeves look like. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good. It's a good refashioning or cycling project. Perhaps not as easy as you may think or anybody else may think. Um, just the sleeves really getting that onto the sewing machine but other than that it's fine. So yes, it turned out well. Yeah, that's a nice upcycling project. These are sleeves. It's turned out well. Okay, let me see any tips I can share with you. When you come to sewing on the sewing machine, just take your time when you come in to sew the sleeves um, because it's quite a restricted area as far as sewing the sleeves on, depending how um, wide the width of your or the circumference of your sleeve is. Um, just take it slowly, stop, start again, stop, start again, just take your time. I think that's the, that, that's the most important thing for this project. Even though it seems quite simple in construction, it's not as simple. It's about patience really more than anything else. Um, if you've got the patience, then you get the good results. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, as you can see, that it's not quite even here. And that's, I could have done that, and that just meant just making the um, sleeve shorter, but I just wanted to make sure that I used everything on this um, project like I, I tend to do. So I could have cut the hem of the 
shirt here and then it would have been a more even line all the way across to the other sleeve so if you wanted to do that that is possible to do that as i've described just cut that away and you get that line now, as you can see it's slightly a bit more on the sleeve for me than it is on the bodice but i'm okay with that um no i don't think i don't think there's anything else i would just say that um just go slowly um, and not all projects that look simple are simple to, to do. <laughs> it, it really, I think with refashioning and upcycling, it is a case of patience and kind of rethinking how you would construct a garment, particularly if you know, if you know how to sew beforehand, before actually deciding to refashion. Um, then you can understand why refashioning is Obviously, it is a good idea to upcycle, refashion your garments, but it's not as simple as you may think because you have to rethink construction. I hope that makes sense. Um, if, it, if it doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments. <laughs> That'll be helpful. I'll probably do a video um, on it to talk about um, refashioning and how simple it it, it is or is not depend on the project but you also need to think about construction because you are working on garments that have obviously been constructed before so um, if you can get your head around that then you'd enjoy the whole process so if you enjoy my refashioning projects then please consider subscribing please give us a bump up if you enjoyed this video and please share on your social media platforms and i will see you next time